Running back D'Angelo Williams was released this week from the Carolina Panthers. He spent his entire career in Carolina. That's not really the story, though. Take you back to October. This past year, the year before, the year before, the NFL, they go all pink in October. It's the pink out. They want to raise awareness for breast cancer research. We've talked about how much money out of the NFL is actually donated to charitable funds for breast cancer research. It's not very much, but that's not the story. The story is, is that Sandra, D'Angelo Williams' mom, she's been battling breast cancer for quite some time. And the Carolina Panthers organization every year would hold her up in their pamphlets, in their pictorials as the example of a hero for fighting that terrible, terrible disease. And then, this past year, when she finally passed away, nobody showed up. He told Coach Rivera, my mom just passed away and took her last breath, and he said, very sympathetically, I'm sorry to hear that, take all the time you need. And then the general manager, Dave Gettleman, called him up about uh, an hour or two after he had made the announcement to Ron Rivera and said, hey, we're so sorry, you know, if there's anything we can do, let us know. But that's it. The organization that had put his mom and her face and her likeness all over everything pink in that stadium, on the commercials, everything. Never showed up. Never showed up. Didn't do anything else beyond that. You know, I, I don't think you need people to show up at a particular funeral. It's respectful to do so, but more so to just show support. Or at least to reach out. Even if you're not there, at least reach out and say, what can we do for you? Even if it rings hollow or sounds cliche, try to be as sincere as you can about it. If you're an organization like the Carolina Panthers, if you're part of the NFL, this conglomerate that pushes pink on everybody to try to buy their garbage, their products, their jerseys, their pens, their hats, everything to go along with it, and then you don't show up, not only does it reflect incredibly poorly on the Carolina Panthers as an organization, but as the NFL as a whole. Thanks to WBTV down in Charlotte, North Carolina, for doing the interview. Molly Grantham, or Grantham, hopefully I'm getting that right, was the reporter that sat down and talked with D'Angelo Williams. Those two had actually worked on and emceed the Susan G. Komen breast cancer race to raise money for cancer research and to fight that dreaded disease. Here's my one, I guess, you know, hope for you, is that you'll see this, and the next time you donate money, Ask the charity you're donating to, how much of this is actually going to go towards research or towards helping someone with this disease or whatever it is you're donating to? Just find out for yourself. Make sure your money is doing the best it can for those you're trying to help. Now, I know there's a lot of great charities out there, and to put on events, it costs money. I get that. Some of that money goes right back into the event. But without the events, you wouldn't be raising money to begin with because not a whole lot of people are just driving around with a bunch of spare income ready to throw it out the window to your, hap to your event or to your happening. But just take the time. We care so much about arenas and what athletes are making and salary caps. Find out where your money's going for the charity. But shame on the Carolina Panthers. And shame on the NFL. Awesome.